Hi Stitchy friends, I'm Michelle and this is my channel Penny's Daughter Shares where I primarily talk about cross stitch although from time to time you will see some other crafts and sewing and quilting involved. Today is all cross stitch and some life updates. I'm coming to you from a different location in my house today. This is one corner of my bedroom <laughs> and I will explain why that is in just a minute. I'm also in my PJs. That is because we're having a snow day today. And my kids were scheduled to have a, this is their winter break. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday off. So they got a bonus day. So it's five days, which is really nice. And why I still have my PJs on. <laughs> Last time I said that I had a couple of non-stitchy related life things kind of going on and it would affect my scheduling and what I could accomplish in terms of getting floss tube done. In particular, I was talking about a Q-snap tutorial. That's not done yet. And that's because my life updates I'm gonna be able to share with you today and you'll see why. So the first one is I had some allergy testing done and I am allergic to dust, so that's fun. <laughs> I also have some seasonal allergies, and they tested me for bananas because I've had issues with that in avocado in the past, and I am allergic to bananas, which is apparently very unusual. <laughs> So I was given some new medications that I've started and hopefully I might make it through this video without any coughing at all. We'll see. It's only been a couple days and the cough is definitely not gone yet, but it has gotten better and I definitely feel better than the seven days prior to the testing when I couldn't take any allergy medication at all. I was miserable. <laughs> so I feel way better now and obviously making a few updates I guess around the house in terms of just being aware of the dust and what it does to me so so that is one life update and I, I'm actually going to learn a few more details because she also did a blood draw to do some further tests because she was surprised at the symptoms I'd had and some of the things that showed negative for allergies. So we'll see, we're gonna get it worked out. This is all really new to me. I've never dealt with this before and I'm, you know, not young anymore. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're gonna figure it all out and work on it and I'm feeling better. So that's the most important thing. Um, Okay, the other life date, uh, life update, which is even more exciting. And uh, because he's currently sleeping and being quiet, and that's why I'm in my room, because we just brought him home last night. And I'm going to put a picture up here for you so that you can see our Marty. And we actually have taken to calling him Marty McFly because we all love Back to the Future. <laughs> so, um, he was post shared on Facebook. One of my Facebook friends fosters cats or has in the past. And she posted Marty up, um, let's see, about a week ago, I guess. And we had talked all, all along that you know, Jasper left a big hole for us and we definitely wanted to share our love with another pet. We did not think it was going to happen quite this quickly, but I saw the pictures of Marty and I fell in love. And um, there was actually another family interested in him and they didn't feel that they were a good match for him. So it kind of feels like it was meant to be. So we have him in our bedroom right now um, so that he can get used to being at our house and before we you know send him out into the whole house 
And so I'm staying in here with him, although he's taking a nap. Maybe he'll make an appearance. I doubt it though. I swear he was up all night long. <laughs> Not being wild necessarily, but uh, he's, they guess about a year old. He was found by some people and they actually brought him in and tried to see if he belonged to someone, couldn't find anybody. And they contacted the rescue, which then brought him to my friend who was fostering him and she had posted him and now he's with us. <laughs> so we're pretty excited. We don't know him very well yet and he doesn't know us very well yet. So we're all getting used to each other. But so far he's just lovely. <laughs> all right. We are having a snow day. We have our new kitty in our house and just having a great day. So I thought I'd get on and share a few updates here on cross stitch. I feel like I don't have much, especially after showing Winter Rose Manor last time in that finish. Uh, but I have one more, I have another finish. I have one whip and a Mm, I'm going to call it, it's more of a new start than a whip. <laughs> so we'll start with my, my finish. <coughs> Excuse me. And it is April Wordplay from Brenda Gervais. And here is my finish. So, so cute. That bunny is just so cute. I stitched this on 40 count ancient from picture this plus I used mostly called for colors there are a few changes here or there um, if something didn't really show up on my fabric very well that was called for and I used anchor white in place of most of the white. And then I also used another white and I messed this up last time. I used Gentle Arts Picket Fence. The Picket Fence I used for the bunny's sleeve and then all the other white is anchor white. Otherwise everything is called for, like I said, except for here and there I made a few little changes just so that it showed up better on my fabric. So I think this is really cute and that makes four of the 12 are now finished with my stitching and I'm staying on, on my goal plan of getting two done a month in the first six months of 2022. So yeah, so that's my finish. All right, and now I'm gonna share, just double checking my list, my whip, which is, I talked about this last time, I was hoping to finish this this week. It didn't happen, and you'll see why when I show you my new start slash old whip. <laughs> so this is Raise a Glass of Cheer from Blackbird Designs. I did make some good progress on this, but I kind of feel like this is one of those charts that's a little bit deceptive in how much work it is to stitch. So here's where I'm at, and I apologize, I'm not showing it perfectly. I needed to take it partially out of the Q-snap to show you, but I kept one end attached so that I can easily put it back together <laughs> and have it lined up. So you can see, I finished this whole side here. There's a number of eyelet stitches, like for the, um, the little buds, I guess I wanna call it on the, on the flowers there. And then I did I don't know, maybe about a half of the words that you can see in this quilt star 
And then I started, this is the other side. This is the other urn with flowers, which will match, it'll match this one exactly. So I can get this finished in not too much time. It's just, I need to dedicate some time to it. So I, it's so beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't explain. I'm stitching this on 40 count Brea from Needle and Flax, which I don't, I think the camera's kind of picking up. There's a bit of a pink undertone in this fabric, which I think sets off the floss colors really well. And then the other substitution I made, which you can see here on the flowers, this green, I'm using Weeks Dye Works Oscar. It called for Gentle Arts Old Hickory, and my Old Hickory was not green at all. And if I show you this picture, I don't know, I think it shows. You can see that it, it looks green, right? And I wanted mine to look green. So I swapped that out and I'm really happy with that change. So uh, I'd love to say I'm going to get this done this week, but I don't know because I'll show you my next project and where I'm at on that and my goal with that. So it may not get finished quite this week, but I'll definitely get some more stitches in it. So yeah, that is Raise a Glass of Cheer from Blackbird Designs. Okay, all right, and then let me show you my, I really don't know what to call this. So I started this with Mania last, last May, so May of 2021, and when I pulled this back out, I went and looked at my posts. This was actually the very first project I posted on Instagram. <laughs> and um, I was surprised at that. So it was my May 1st start because I started something new every single day for May last year. Which was a big change for me because I had always stuck to one project. I was... I would finish one project and then move on to the next. I never had multiple things going at once. So anyway, here it is. It is Teresa Kogut, Faith, Hope, Peace, Love. The other thing about this was it was the first time I was stitching on 40 count. So that was a long time ago. I mean, it seems really long, but then it's not. It was just in May. <laughs> so it's the first time with 40 count. It uh, was my first sampler that I started. I've now gotten at least a couple finished. Um, yeah, so it had a lot, of, and like I said, first Instagram post, a lot of firsts with this one. So when I pulled it out, and you might ask, I mean, not that we don't all think this is beautiful, but you're kind of like, well, what does this, what draws you to this one in particular? I don't know. Do you find that too? Do you just, you feel drawn to a certain sampler for some reason and fall in love with it? I love the colors and I love them even more now that I'm stitching on it. Okay, so let's show you where I'm at. It's still in the Q-snap because I'm still working on it. So I want to pull it out, but you can see all the stitching I have done. So why am I calling this a whip slash new start. Like I said, I started it May 1st and I did one day. I had the word faith in there and I had stitched this white flower and I had this line and this line done. And that's all I had when I pulled it out. And I did not like the color, the white color that I was using on my flower. It did not stand out on my fabric. So I knew I needed to tear that out. Oh, I'm sorry. I also had this flower's leaves done. I did not like my stitches. So I tore out this whole, I ended up tearing out this whole flower and I tore out this green line here and restitched them. So I only had 
what, maybe 30 stitches that I left in this thing <laughs> that I tore out, and not that I had gotten very far. But I, somehow my stitching has changed a little bit, I think, uh, just in these months that I've been back at this, and especially using 40 count and using it so much now, because it is my favorite. <laughs> um, but to pull it back out after stitching on it just that little bit, it my stitching has changed a lot. So I am using called for colors except for the white. I substituted classic color works toasted marshmallow, which I got from using on Winter Rose Manor and fell in love with it. And if you're not familiar with toasted marshmallow, it actually has a pink, kind of a subtle pink undertone to it that lends itself perfectly with these colors. And I'll get them out here in just a second to give you an idea of what they look like. I am stitching on 40 count affogato from Fiber on a Whim. And I love the color of this fabric. And I don't know if it's coming across on the video, but it has like green modeling in it and it has that pink modeling in it too, like undertones. And again, it just looks so good with the floss colors. Like I said, let me see. I'll try to get them out. So yeah, so this was a lot of firsts on this. And, oh, so the toasted marshmallow, I substituted out for, it called for, I'm looking at my little cheat sheet here, Weeks Dye Works Light Khaki. And the light khaki I got was not very light. <laughs> so it totally blended into my fabric. Now the, the model had been stitched on Weeks Dye Works straw. And when I bought all the, <coughs> excuse me, bought all the, everything for this, you know, when I kitted it up, um, I did not like the Weeks Dye Works straw that I found. I didn't like the color very well. And I don't know if that's what it always is and I and it just wasn't a preference for me maybe or if the particular piece that I had found was right for this project maybe not you know because it changes all the time and that's fine right that's what makes cross stitch so fun you get to choose your own things the other thing was I mean it was kind of a big deal for me to decide to change a um, thread color on this when I first started it because that just to be honest most of the time I generally was like uh buy exactly what's called for and use okay so I'm gonna do my best here here are the floss colors so you can see I mean even barn door which is red but it definitely is a uh, more pink red right or rosy red so yeah these colors look really good the only one this and that's 422 yes dmc 422 that does not show terribly well on i'm sorry i'll show those a little just a little longer here 422 does not show on my fabric very well but most of the time when it's used, it's outlined with something else that does stand out, and so it's fine. If I get to a point where I'm using it for something and it is not standing out enough, I will possibly change that out a little bit, maybe with one of these other colors, or maybe I'll go dig out something that works in here, but that is a little darker that would stand out. Um, I don't know. I'll just see because I like how that color works. And then this one, I just need to show you. So this is Swiss chocolate and it's awesome when you're stitching with it because 
I mean, it looks very brown, right? It's quite brown, but when you stitch with it, it, it looks like a darker pink. I don't know. It just, it, I'm really thrilled with, with all the colors and my fabric choice on this. So again, that's where I'm at. So this takes me down to the bottom of page one. There's a, a few stitches here. There's a middle border here. And some of that shows on page one. And then this whole, it's like a little flowery tree is on page one. And then there's some stuff here that's part of something else. My goal is before I put this away for a little while, I would like to finish page one. And I, I think I can. I may not do all of the other parts. Oh, there's a puppy that you can stitch in here too that's on page one. I don't know if I'll get all those other parts that are part of another page started necessarily and I'll still kind of pat myself on the back and count it as a page one finish if that makes sense. My So I'm stitching this with Michelle and I'll link her Instagram down below her and I had talked about it. And then what we decided was on the 15th of each month, we pull this out and work on it. Well, I got going on it and I've obviously worked more than one day on it. <laughs> so I want to finish this page, like I said, and then we plan to pull it out on the 15th to work on it. I don't know if I will only work on it on the 15th or if I will pull it out again next month and say, all right, now I'll do page two or whatever page, you know, might be down that would come down here, whichever one I decide to do. Um, but yeah, I don't know. The 15th of the month is what we have talked about stitching along at the same time, just to encourage each other. Cause this is a, this is definitely the biggest piece I've ever tried to stitch. So but after finishing Winter Rose Manor, I know this is doable. So I'm really excited. But yeah, so you can see this puppy here. And then here's that border. Like I said, there's a few stitches on page one and a few stitches of these flowers on page one. And so if I can get that, there's nine pages. So if I could get that section done before I put this away, I'd like to do that. And I think in a day or two, I can ha be done with page one. So we'll see. I don't know. Maybe it'll be like uh, Blackbird Designs raise a glass of cheer. And I tell you, oh, I'm going to have it done in a week. And I don't finish it in that week. <laughs> but I pulled that out on the 15th, which was Tuesday. And I've been working on it since. And... You know, like I said, I had the allergist appointment. We got Marty. <laughs> so we've been busy. Or, well, I have been. I guess not my whole family necessarily. Uh, let's see. So that's what I've been working on. I'm going to share a little bit of collection here. Just as a reminder, I am on a spending freeze. My agreement with myself is the first 90 days of 2022. I'm still making it work. But as a reminder, I don't count subscriptions because I didn't want to drop out of those and then not be able to come back to them. The other thing too were any pre-orders that I had and I think I have one on its way that came in stock and I have one more that should be coming soon. So I'll share those when I get them. So this is the color and cotton monthly subscription. <laughs> Sometimes words are so hard, right? So this is 40 count linen in the color stoneware. And it has a bit of a purpley undertone and I don't know if that's coming through on the video. Let's just for funsies. I'll hold it back here towards my wall color. 
it actually helps it show a little better. <laughs> it's a fairly dark color. I love it. And I really want to find something to stitch it on, or to stitch on it. And then I get um, the Primitive Neutral set of threads and the All Colors set of threads. So here's the Primitive Neutrals. Again, beautiful colors. And I just, I want to like pull them out and stitch with them. <laughs> but then you're, all, I'm already working on projects and I want to stitch on those too. How do you decide? <laughs> And then this is the all colors. And how beautiful are those? And this one in particular, I don't know if you can be able to see on the camera very well, but those colors look awesome on that fabric. I'm sure this is not an accident. I'm sure this was planned <laughs> when they planned the subscription for the month, right? Um, but I love it and I... Like I said, I wish I could, I needed to take time and find something that I could stitch on there and use those colors on this fabric. It would just be so beautiful. But then that means I miss out on my current whips that I really want to be stitching or things that I'm close to a finish and I want to finish them, right? So that pretty much covers what I had to share this time. And normally I talk about plans and I'll talk about plans. I already kind of talked about them a little bit. What I want to try to do and I have to see if I can get it figured out. But I would like to try to do a live floss tube next Friday. And I would do it in the evening time, my time, which is Eastern Standard Time. Um, so I would like to figure that out. I'm going to try and I will post it up here to let you know to watch for it or to hop on. And if you are able, I would love to have you join me because I have this like fear in the back of my mind that I would set up and try to do a live and it would be crickets. There would be no one out there to chat with me. <laughs> So, I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you watch for that, and I'll try to make sure and get, I'll, for sure I can get something posted up on Instagram as a reminder. And I know there's a couple ways I can post some stuff up here on YouTube. So, if you're subscribed, then that will pop up in your feed. And especially if you also click on the bell to get notified if I post up anything or new videos, then you would get notified. So that's one thing in addition to my stitching that I want to work on this week. The other thing is I am going to work on planning. I would like to participate in March Madness and it's called a couple different things. I'm still researching it to see exactly how it works. And I, but I, I think it would be really fun. I will pick out eight projects and then I am going to have you vote on what I should be working on. I know some, some people do like a coin flip between things and that's how they decide to narrow down their brackets and such. But I am going to figure out how to get voting working, which I understand I can do on Instagram. I sound so old saying all this because I don't know how to do it all. So I just need to get it all figured out. But that is what I would love to do. And I can get everything organized. And that was is what I would show on my face. Sorry, floss tube live next Friday. And oh, by the way, I will definitely record it. So I know not everyone could watch it live. So I would record it and post it up so that you can watch it at your convenience also. Um, but yeah, I would plan to show you my eight projects that I'm going to pull into March Madness. And you'll be able to vote accordingly 
on what you would like to see me do. So if you are planning to do March Madness yourself of some sort, why don't you drop me a little comment below and just let me know what your plan is. Or send me an email or send me a message, whatever works for you. But I'd love to hear if there's more people out there that are going to try to do this. So I think that wraps up everything I wanted to share today. And I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a little weird. It feels a little weird. But I, now that I'm feeling better and like the allergies are more under control, I'm feeling more like myself, more enthusiastic, I guess is a good word. So I hope you had a good time today. Hope you got some stitching in. And as always, I will see you soon. Thank you.